is one of the funs of having your own runway. You have to inspect it for um, warthog uh, activity at night. And you can see there, big dongas in the runway. Uh, I'll start a uh, reiki. Finished. Um, you can see there's quite a strong crosswind, so I don't know if I'm gonna go flying this morning. And I'm gonna try some uh, cool gadgets that I bought uh, to see if I can get my audio working in the cockpit and those type of things. Welcome back. Um, yeah, it's been a bit windy today, so I'm not gonna fly. So, as I said on earlier videos, I'm busy planning this uh, trip around South Africa, so I'm just getting ready for that. So, a few things I purchased. One of them is, I need extra fuel. This is uh, Desert Fox Extreme. So it's a 20 litre fuel bag. Um, and what it does is, uh, once we're not carrying the fuel, it folds up quite nicely into a flat, flat little bag like this. It allows you to pack it in the plane. So one of the big problems we have here in South Africa is when we go and land, we may land on an off-field landing very close to a lodge, the lodge owner comes and collects us and we need to get fuel. So there's not as many um, areas for fuel, especially around the perimeter of South Africa. When you get into the mainland, main areas like Cape Town and that, there's obviously fuel, but especially up um, in my planning, up along the Botswana and the Namibian border, there is no fuel. So that's going to be difficult. And part of this getting ready as well is I bought myself um, a little camp put a copy of uh, one that you can buy but um, I'll try and show you so it's quite cool so really it's a tie down for the plane put these bins in so it's pretty easy up here and yeah there you go Hold the plane, and they come out quite, down is quite soft here, yeah. that's the best example. But yes, I think that will work quite well. Um, could have made them out of aluminium, but um, yeah, cannot weld aluminium, don't have the right gear. So I made them out of steel, put all these holes in just to lighten it up. It'll probably work um, just to store the plane. And then um, a little bit of maintenance on the plane before we get ready. Um, I've had a bit of issues with uh, leaking on the taffet covers. We replaced all the rings with Richard and it didn't really work and I had a look on the Rotex site and they seem to think that these tubes, which is um, the valve stem tubes, has a little o-ring at the bottom and I think those o-rings have gone so I bought new tubes so they're ready to be installed plus little o-rings. Obviously another little purchase, uh, all from Comet, uh, my favourite Rotex supply in Germiston. Um, I bought a new spare wheel uh, tube, inner tube for the back uh, tube, so just in case we have a flat somewhere, so it'll be a good idea to have a backup. Uh, the front two tyres, um, I put the fagat in and made them tubeless, so I think that should be worked quite well for that. So yes, I think I need to get started and do a few changes. I've also upgraded the battery to a 23 amp hour battery, because I think with all this camera work and uh, you know, recording, charging batteries at the same time, especially like I said, when we land off field, no possibility of being able to charge. Um, so I want to be able to be totally self-sufficient, being able to edit on the iPad, uh, make movies and share my experience with you. Um, enjoy. Okay, so part of getting ready for the trip, um, I also want to move some of the stuff around the plane. So we'll go inside. So if you have a look, the comms has been wired up to there, which when we start putting cameras at the back here and showing what's happening to the front you'll be, see all the wires hanging down from the headset so just to be exact headset pops in there and these wires are really going to get in my way so i'm looking at a, a better solution for that 
the actual audio cable runs through around the back here so what I'm looking at doing is actually installing them something like that so I'll have a look and see which is the best way that's pretty much out of the way of everybody uh, for the passenger I'm looking at putting the two audio plugs in there um, let's take this out so you can see also I have my iPad uh, for backup situated over there I've got two uh, training uh, two power points there I just want to upgrade the other one to a 4.2 or 4.3 amp I find that the iPad while flying it uh, tends to not keep its charge and then I want to run an external charger use the similar type of uh, black box and I want to try and put it I'm not sure exactly probably on the side here or over here so I can just charge um, the cameras from the back here because these GoPros and uh, the gimbal they use a lot of power and then lastly I want to just connect uh, a power point uh, underneath here that um, if we're out in the, uh, the bushes and we do get a flat battery I can use a jump cable just to jump start without having to take the cowling off so that's uh, what we're gonna do today so yeah looking forward to it exciting Well, that's what happens um, when you put some nice fagot, which is a product that's meant to stop the tires from getting punctures. And I pumped it up quite nice and hard, and obviously at the bolt, couldn't handle it. So on the second landing, actually quite good. I was just taxiing, and you can see there, the bolt there broke. Quite pleasant uh, to come for sundown as well, it's very hot. The animals seem to also enjoy the green grass at the moment in uh, spring. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here's Alex and the dogs, obviously wants a lift. The Bacteria is running up the road saying, Ah, oh, we want to come inside. Go, come on in here, jump up, up, oh, there we go, and forth the dirty, come on girl, come on girl, up, up, there we go. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. And what happened? It's a lift rather. It's a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> 